Tonight I have two very special people here with me. They are uh, not only co-founders of the Mid-Island Abilities Independent Living Society, they are newly married. Jeff and Kathy Bogal, welcome to the show. Hi, Lewis. Thanks Thank for having us. us. An awful good to join us. Hi. So your organization, as I understand it, it uh, reaches out to lonely, often isolated seniors. Yes. Yep. And, they tell, and it also helps them meet the challenges of life as a seniors are often uh, by themselves. It, when life changes for them, they're often by themselves. And you, you work with them. Can you give me a little sense of the work that your organization does in detail? Well, one of our major programs at Versus Society is called the Nanaimo Senior Visiting Program, and it's an outreach service that extends to seniors that um, that don't have the human contact, and they lose that um, that social network. And that social network is is lost by a lot of different reasons. A lot of times, it's mobility issues. Um, they don't have family or friends nearby, and so it's easy to become isolated and stay at home. So it's hard to get out for a lot of reasons. So our society, what we do is we reach out to them uh, via telephone calls. Our volunteers call them regularly uh, and it, it, it starts to, um, they start to get an extended family. So our volunteers call them regularly, we go visit, and then we also do outings. So our outings allow them to get out of the house, meet peers, meet people their own age, and a lot of times transportation's quite often an issue, and so this allows them to have the social contact in the community. Uh, it's, it's an amazing program um, to allow them to meet other people. Often they don't get that, uh, get out of the house because of this isolation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's very, very important. Yeah. Could you, uh, Jeff, could you um, share with us, this is a very poignant beginning to your organization. How did it begin? Tell us the story about that. Yeah, it's actually quite fascinating. Um, in Winnipeg in 1978, uh, Sister Rosaline Dunn came across um, a, a senior or, or was called to a senior's home and, and the lady had passed away. And she got her diary and in her diary for the last 39 days, all, the only entry was no one called or visited today. And that really struck a chord with Rosie and she decided that that would not happen if she had any, any say in it. And so in Winnipeg she started a society called the Phone a Friend. And that helped to reduce uh, the isolation for some seniors, helped give people phone calls, you know, reaching out, that kind of thing. And she moved to Nanaimo in 1980. And in 1980 she started uh, at the Ecumenical Centre here in Nanaimo, she started uh, the Nanaimo Telephone Ministry. and their mandate was to reduce the isolation of uh, shut-ins, of, of, of seniors and that kind of thing. And so um, the society moved along and, and plugged along until it was really quite a going concern. Uh, in 2012, uh, the uh, Nanaimo Telephone Visiting Society, as it was known then, uh, approached us at Mid-Island Abilities and asked if we would take over them and, uh, you know, help them grow greater and, and to, to become more effective and help them with a more better business focus. And so we took them on as our flagship program as the Nanaimo Seniors Visiting Program. So um, I'd like to hear a success story. I think you have one to share. Could you? We do. We have a lot, we have a lot of stories to tell uh, because it is a great program. Um, and having people live independently, we want to keep them at home longer in their own homes. Uh, and so one of our ladies in particular, uh, there's so many stories, but this one in particular, her daughter lives in Australia and she comes down twice uh, for two months at a time, which is pretty wonderful. Um, and she gets to see sort of the progress of her mother as she ages. And, and when we saw her last year, I mean, this lady's been a part of our society for a few years, uh, her daughter says, you know, I really see a difference in mom. She says, you know, she's not so quite so quiet anymore. She's a little bit more outgoing. You know, she talks about the people that she's met and the events that she's done. And she says, you know, I really do see her as you know, a lot more outgoing. She says, you know, I was always concerned that she was a little bit quieter and as every year that she came to visit her, you know, she saw that big difference because she wasn't there every day to see her. So it, the program is great and the testimonials let us know that our program's working. I'm very impressed to hear this and I want to congratulate you both and your organization for this wonderful work that you're doing. 
if people want to get in touch with you, if they want to volunteer, if, or if they need to volunteer to contact them, how would they get in touch with you? Well, our programs are free, and so we're always always encouraging uh, community to call if they need if they need this service. You can contact us at our at our office, which is uh, 250-756-9455, and or our email our uh, website is um, or our www info at midislandability.org. So, thank you. Jeff and Kathy, thanks so much for joining me on this show, and congratulations with your excellent work. Thank thanks you very much. much. Thanks for having us. Mm -hmm.